Hi, it's Dee with Tea Quilts, and I thought that I would come today and just do a monthly haul of what I've received in the mail that I haven't shown you previously per se. Some things you probably seen, but I have reordered. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> I did was I was running out of business cards so I have ordered new business cards here and my business cards have always had my scrap queen logo on the business cards and then this time I also decided to go ahead and order some return address labels as well i've been writing my address or typing it a lot lately so i decided that maybe i just need to go ahead and get some and i only got these because i was already ordering the business cards normally i make my own i think i got 140 labels for 12 dollars not very cheap but they are very worthwhile and then i ordered 500 business cards and i've got my notes here so i can give you the right prices they were $26.09 for a premium business card. This is a very thick card. I like the premium and I get it in the matte finish. And 500 of those came in two different boxes. So that's from Vista Print. I also have an affiliate link for Vista Print. So if you're interested in ordering, they do. You do your own mock-up online. You can upload photos and put them onto your any items. They do other things other than business cards. They do pens, t-shirts, various other things. And so I'll leave my link down below if you would use it. I'll just get a small percent for recommending you and get a discount on my next order. So I appreciate that. And I ordered on a Sunday and they actually arrived on Thursday and I did not do the expedited um, shipping. So that was pretty cool. Next thing that I did was I ordered some fold over elastic. If you watch my video on the snap composition covers, I talked about these plastic snaps. As well as the fact that I used the elastic here. These are your page markers. And they recommended fold over elastic in the pattern. And I mentioned that I did not know what that was. Well, when I did some research since I had more time now. And found out what the fold over elastic is. Now when you order this on Amazon. They have it all rolled up nice and neat. Mine's came just mixed up in this bag. So just know that it is not going to come neatly wrapped. On this particular kind, I got 20 pieces. They're all one yard pieces. And I paid $9.98. And I will leave a link to this in my Amazon store. So I'm going to have my Amazon store link down in the description box. So if you are interested in purchasing some fold over elastic for your composition book covers, please use the link that I provide. I'm just trying to have Amazon give me a little kickback for anything that I'm recommending that my viewers purchase. And again, this was uh, just slightly under $10 for 20 yards in various colors. Another thing that I ordered is the colorful snap kits. I actually ordered two of these. I ordered another one for myself as well as this one that is going to a dear friend of mine's for her birthday this month. And then I also decided to order the replacement kit and these come in a different size. These are actually T8 whereas in the kit the size is T5. They're a little bit smaller. So I thought maybe we might both want to have them in both sizes because I think I'm going to be using these a lot on totes. So I ordered her one of these and I got another one for me as well. So I actually got two of those. I'm just not showing both of those. So the regular kit was $16.98 and then the size T8 snaps, which is just the snaps by themselves, was actually $14.99. So next thing that came in the mail. 
I do not subscribe to any magazines personally, but I get one free for being a member of AQS. So it comes in a plastic baggie that's wrapped and sealed. It's not saran wrap per se, but it's in a plastic bag that's sealed. And you get the American Quilter newsletter free as a member of, of AQS. And then it also has their little brochure in it as well. And they do have some pretty interesting things in here. They do have quilt show reviews that they put in here. And I'm just going to show you a quilt that's in here that I really like because it's my one of my favorite patterns or and it's actually a churn dash quilt I think that's pretty cute and it's got cats over it although I wouldn't personally put the cats on it but very pretty and then I also get a gift subscription one of the members in the scrap quilting club actually gave me a a quilt subscription to quilt maker magazine and so that is what this is and I've gone through it and they've got some really interesting things in here they also have something called Christmas crackers and it's made using the stack and whack method so thought that was pretty as well and there is the actual quilt or some of it so that came also also in the mail came my Benner Tech subscription and um, they have a cute little project here on the cover maybe if I decide to do that I will do a separate video for that just wanted you to know that it came and let's see um, the other thing that I did was AccuQuilt which I'm also an affiliate and I'll leave a link for it down below but I, they finally had a good sale. You know I have the studio cutter. And they don't have the studio dies on sale as often as they do the go dies. And so they finally had a studio sale where if you buy one, you can get one at half off. Or if you didn't want to buy one, you could get 40% off of one. So I ended up getting three new dies this month. And I just think that I'm just going to show them to you. They are not open. And therefore... I cannot actually show you anything with them. I will be doing some projects with these dies, so you will get to see them really soon. But this is a 10 inch crazy quilt die. And let me show you the back side because you can see that it cuts all of these different shapes. And then when you sew it back together, it's actually a 10 inch square. And I really like that. And I have a set of rulers too that I'm going to compare with this technique with a set of rulers <laughs> excuse me the next one that i got is the fracture tumbler blocks and it is this die here you can make all of these different blocks there and let me just show you the other side of it so you can see what it looks like i know it's glaring off the plastic here so it has four small shapes and then also two larger shapes and you can use the pieces either the large ones together the small ones together or you can do a combination of two I thought this would be another great stash buster so I don't know if I'm going to get to all of these projects this year because I'm working on UFOs but these are some things to be looking for in 2018 and I also ordered a strip die. It's actually a three inch strip die. And on this die, I can actually cut four strips at a time by 10 layers, which your strips are normally folded in half. So that means you're cutting five layers. So I can cut 20 strips in one turn of a die. So I've been working on a lot of projects where I've been needing to have three inches and so I decided to just go ahead and get the die since I could get it for a reasonable price on sale. So that is it for this haul. Thank you all so much for watching. Please check any of my affiliate links so that I can at least get credit for recommending you guys to these products. And do note that for the AccuQuilt Studio that they've been running it off and on for $200 off. So if you're interested in getting that, keep looking at their site. But please 
use my affiliate link so that I do get credit for your purchases. And thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.